when you hear someone talking about a vampire killer, we normally associate it with a movie or something we've read in a book, not something that is actually real. On today's Crown Corner, we'll be talking of a case of such a nature. But before I get started with this video, as per usual, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, do not forget to comment, do not forget to share, but most importantly, do not forget to hit that notification bell so each time I post a video, you know about it. Richard Trenchase was known as the vampire killer because he drank the blood of his victims. He also practiced cannibalism with their body parts. He has six known victims. Richard was born on May 23rd, 1950 in Sacramento, California. He was known to wet his bed, torture animals, as well as set things alight. Richard would spend most of his time capturing and killing animals, then eating them raw or blending them up. In 1976, Richard was hospitalized as he had injected himself with rabbit blood that he had killed. Many of the patients as well as the nurses referred to him as a Dracula, but once he began taking his medication, he was released. On December 29th, 1977, Richard killed his first ever known victim in a drive-by shooting. The victim, Ambrose Griffin, was a 51-year-old engineer, a father of two. Weeks after committing this crime, he attempted to enter the house of a woman, but he found that her doors were locked. Richard told detectives that when he found the doors locked, this was a sign that he was not welcomed. But when the doors were unlocked, this was a sign that he was invited in. On January 23rd, 1978, Richard broke into the house of Teresa Wallen. She was three months pregnant. He shot her and then had sexual intercourse with her corpse. Then he decided to cut out her organs, cut her nipple and drink her blood. Once he was done, he stuffed her throat with dog feces. His next kill happened the very same year on January 27th when he decided to enter the house of 38-year-old Evelyn Meroth. When he entered the house, he met up with Evelyn's friend, Danny Meredith, and he was shot. Then shot Evelyn, her two-year-old son, and 22-month-year-old nephew before engaging in necrophilia and cannibalism with her corpse. A visitor knocked at the door and startled Richard. He then fled with Danny's car and the body of the nephew. The visitor alerted the police. He had left a footprints as well as handprints of Evelyn's blood at the crime scene. He was then arrested. Richard's trial began in 1979 and he pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. However, he was declared legally insane at the time he committed the murders. He was found guilty on all six charges. Following his conviction, Richard began receiving medication. But instead of taking the medication, he began to stockpile the pills until there were enough for him to commit suicide. He was found dead in his cell in December of 1979. 